Hello all, welcome to the demo video on how to e-sign and e-stamp a document using eMudra's e-stamping service. Please note that this service can only be availed by individuals with a registered mSigner account. To e-sign and e-stamp a document, you have to visit the mSigner website and click on login button on the main menu. Now you can enter the username, password and proceed. Upon successful authentication, you will be navigated to the main mSigner dashboard page. Next, click on Upload Document button on the left navigation bar to enter the first step of e-signing and e-stamping, that is, selecting the document to be e-signed and e-stamped. Select the document to be signed and stamped using either drag and drop or upload document option. Once the document is uploaded, select the number of signers or reviewers and click on continue button at the bottom of the screen. You will now enter the second step of e-signing and e-stamping where you have to enable e-stamping and specify the signee as well as the location of the signature. Check the enable e-stamping box on the left, place the signature at the preferred position by moving the signature holder and select the signee using the options available on the right side of the screen. Then click on send button to move to the next step, that is generating an e-stamp and automatically merging it with the uploaded document. Upon landing on the e-stamping page, please enter mandatory details such as registration type, state, first party name, second party name, stamp duty amount, consideration price, etc. and click on proceed button to successfully initiate an e-stamp. Once you complete this process, an email will be triggered to your registered email ID. Please open the email and click on the link which is provided by NESL. You will now be redirected to the NESL verification page wherein you will be prompted to enter the CAPTCHA code followed by the OTP triggered to your registered email ID and phone number. Enter the required details and click on verify button to preview the document to be e-stamped. Go through the document and click on I agree if you are satisfied. Now verify the e-stamp details and proceed to complete the e-stamping process by clicking on next button. E-stamp document can be viewed upon completion of the process. Close the e-stamp document and proceed to the next step that is electronic signing of the document by first party using Aadhaar based e-sign. Upon landing on the e-sign consent page you are requested to go through details, provide your consent by checking the box, select either OTP based e-sign or biometric based e-sign option based on your convenience and finally click on submit button. For the demo purpose, we are opting for OTP based e-sign option and are proceeding to the e-sign e-authentication page. Once you land on this page, please enter your Aadhaar number and click on get OTP to receive an OTP to your registered mobile number. Next, enter the OTP that you have received. Provide your consent and click on submit button to complete the first party signing process. A success message will be displayed at the end of the process and simultaneously the second signatory will receive an email notifying him or her about pending action. The second signatory has to open the mail, preview the e stamp document and click on the signature holder to enter the generate signature settings page. Next, select the signature type and click on apply and preview. For the demo purpose, we have selected e-sign option. Now click on sign button on the top of the screen to land on e-sign authentication page. Here enter the signer ID followed by the pin and select either SMS or TOTP option based on your preference. Then enter the OTP that you have received upon clicking get OTP button. Check the consent box and click on eSign. You will get a success message upon completion. This concludes the demo on how to eSign and eStamp a document using eMudra's eStamping service. Thank you for watching.